Hey everyone, you're watching Sports Star, and this is our match recap of the Indian Super League game between Chennai FC and Hyderabad FC, which Chennai FC won 1 0. Now, at halftime in this game, had you told me that Hyderabad would end up on the losing side, I would have never believed you. That's just how much they dominated proceedings in that first half. Most of the possession was with Hyderabad. They created so many chances, they came close to scoring so many times. And Chennai just looked a little hapless and all over the place in that first half. They had no answers to what uh, Hyderabad was trying to do and the kind of pressing style of football that they were managing to play. But as uh, Manolo Marquez told us at the end of the game, it doesn't matter if you are the best team or if you control everything. At the end of the day, you have to score. So the scorecard is not really unfair. Chennai managed to get that goal and managed to sneak away with three points. They should consider themselves very lucky given just how all over the place the team looked and there is much for these two teams to take away. But before that, let's just take a look at the paces of the game. Manolo Marquez was wearing his lucky green shirt but there was nothing lucky about how that first half went for Hyderabad. In the first 10 minutes, we saw a collision which involved at least three Hyderabad players seemingly just splattered on the pitch like that. Head injuries were suspected and there was a little care being taken around that but it turned out that Halichar and Narsari seems to have a niggle in either his knee or his ankle. Uh, we will get a confirmation on his injury soon and as soon as we know, you will know. So Hyderabad sort of started on that foot but it was interesting to see how Edu Garcia and Bartok Beche got together and tried to dominate proceedings. So many chances were created. It was like Hyderabad was enticing you to Okay, the goal's coming now, the goal's coming now, the goal's coming now and each time Obeche would miss and he was frustrated, Garcia was frustrated, everybody was just walking around and trying to figure a way to breach Vishal Keth and go forward. Uh, Keth also had his moments of nervousness, uh, the defence looked a little, I, I don't know if it's nerves or if it's just their strategy was unsure, I'm not sure what, what exactly the problem was but they did have those uh, initial moments of just being unsure and allowing Hyderabad to sort of penetrate into the back line. Uh, but to Vishal Khed's credit, he did save uh, three possible goal opportunities. So you see Chennai walk away with a clean sheet as well in their first game. Both teams went into halftime without a goal on either side and that's the first time that's happened this season. We've had goals being scored in the first half of every game so far, save this one. The scoreline changed in the 66th minute when Hitesh Sharma made a small error of judgement in pursuing Anirudh Thapa with the ball. Thapa went ahead with the ball, Hitesh Sharma went behind him. Thapa seemed to anticipate the tackle that was coming and fell in the box, thereby allowing Chennai a penalty chance. Vladimir Koman came forward to take the shot and did not miss. He slotted it to the top right of the goal. The keeper went the same way but wasn't able to do anything to stop the ball, thereby allowing Chennai to take a 1-0 lead. Hyderabad really couldn't do anything about that lead, they didn't manage to equalise. In fact, after that goal, it seemed like the attack sort of started panicking. At one point, Manolo Marquez sent in four substitutes. Bato Beje was taken off, Garcia was taken off, but it didn't really help the strategy because it sort of ended up with these guys having too much to do with too little time on the clock. Hyderabad FC was the better team for most parts of this game but they will come back learning a thing or two about needing to land those finishes especially Bhadok Beche who went on to say that just the night was just not his given the number of times he missed or ended up going above uh, the net. And Chennai has to figure out how to be a little more attacking especially in the first half. They just allowed Hyderabad to take things and walk away. They were very lucky to not have conceded in that first half and that's something that uh, coach uh, Bandovich will work on very closely. Anyway, there's more action coming up in the Indian Super League with Odisha FC starting their campaign this season against Bengaluru FC. Bengaluru FC is fresh from a 4-2 win over Northeast United. We have recapped and analysed that match as well, which my colleague Shambhas Devan has done. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out that video here. If you're watching this anywhere else, then do make sure you check out the link to that video in the post. Uh, we will be back with the analysis for that game. But before that, you can also join us for live coverage of that match. We will be blogging this match live on www.sportstar.thehindu.com. You can also catch live updates on our social media channels. You can follow us on at SportsStarWeb on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. If you'd like us to send you live updates of the match directly to your inbox, you can subscribe to us on Telegram as well. Until our next game, thanks for watching. See you soon.